Hey, it's the Empire, Geoboxing Empire, Baxter Boxing. Now, man, you guys see the latest training from my boy, Robert Hellenius, man. <laughs> the Nordic King, the Viking King. Man, he's looking sharp, he's looking good, and he's training all power. Now, his last big fight with Alvin Kanaki, man, was sent a shockwave to the boxing world, man. That was one of the biggest fights of the year, for sure. That was definitely uh, a fight year, a candidate. And, man, what a back and forth fight that was. You know, Robert Hellenius came out of nowhere. People were doubting him, and people thought Alvin Kanaki was going to walk through him as that was Alvin Kanaki's first loss in his professional career. That being said, man, uh, my boy Robert Hellenius, man, you know, he has asterisks on his win when he beat uh, Derek Trezora, and that was one of his biggest win of, wins of his career. And ever since then, you know, if you actually look at my boy Robert Hellenius' career, he's always been a fighter who hasn't really mastered his athleticism in the ring. And in it, but in this Adam Kanaki fight, the first one, he came ready physically, man. He was ready. He was willing to uh, go to war. And you know, when he was at his athletic peak, he came out and showed out for the fight. Now that being said, man, you know, no one's really talking about uh, how uh, Adam Kanaki and Robert Helenius have been training. They've been really keeping off of social media. Um, I've been seeing Robert Helenius uh, recently in the woods training cutting trees down doing real back to nature type stuff you know viking kind of stuff nordic king kind of things you know nature kind of stuff so my boy robert hellenius man you know he's basically in isolation training and it's uh it's, he's looking good man he's looking good um i always see him hitting the weights i always see him um see him do like really big uh you know high uh low reps but high weights type type training and you know he's looking good man he's training on his power for sure you know that was the one uh ingredient that robert Hellen uh, that robert Hellenius was missing was the power the power was all he needed you know to be in physical shape his peak shape because boxing is phys physically taxing your body and how do you beat a volume puncher how do you beat a guy that can always beat you to punch you counter you counter the guy you know robert Hellenius, uh, knows how to beat Al Kanaki, and you have to punch in between his punches. That's basically how you beat a volume puncher, or you counter them. You know, um, Robert Helenius thinks he can uh, do it all over again and absorb Al Kanaki's punches and counter him with a big shot. So we're gonna see how this whole thing plays out, man. You know, I'm big on Robert Helenius. I think he's a good underdog story for sure. Um, like I said earlier, you know, he's never been at at his athletic peak. But recently, of late, he's been uh, training the right kind of training to get there, you know. So, yeah, man, I'm really excited to see how Robert Helenius train again. Um, I, I like his training uh, regimen. I like his mentality. And it's back to the roots, man. It's back to square one. You know, this is their both biggest fights of his career. Adam Kanaki, his first loss, he has to redeem that loss to remain elite. They could just say it was a bad night. Robert Hellenius needs to prove that that wasn't a fluke and I got this guy's number. So that being said, you know, Robert Hellenius had a lot of uh, challenges in his career. Um, one of his more recent losses were uh, to Jared Washington. Um, and he got knocked out in that fight, you know, a fight where he was winning. He was winning that fight and then he just got clipped. So crazy stuff, man. Stuff happens in boxing. This is the big boy division, heavyweight division and stuff happens, you know. So that being said, he's going to prove that he's supposed to be at this level. And, you know, at the tender age of 37 years old, Robert Hellenius needs he needs to get a title shot. You know, time is running out. You know, um, they say heavyweights age slower. Is it true? Yes, I do believe so, because a lot of these fighters, when they take L's, it's a quick stoppage. It's not like you know the small divisions how you're just getting hit hundreds of times and then you just make it the decision this is the heavyweight division these guys are hard hitters so when you get hit it's more likely going to be stopped within uh, you know 10 20 punches if you especially if you hurt you know the album uh, the album Kanaki fight you could have been hit more with a couple dozen punches before it was over or less you know a few clean shots when you're hurt there is fights could be stopped so that being said, man, these heavyweights aren't really taking too many too much punishment. Um, you know, it's just the nature of the division. You know, it's easier. Uh, these fighters aren't throwing hundreds of punches per round. There's a very few fighters who can do that, right? 
uh, think of uh, my boy Joe Big Baby Miller. He was one guy doing it, but it turned out the guy popped dirty. <laughs> it turned out he was on a sauce. So that being said, you know, we don't know how good he really is outside of the sauce. Robert, I mean, uh, my boy um, Big Baby Miller, you know, he's been, his career's been in limbo ever since. He has been extremely inactive. He went in top rank. And that was the worst thing he could have did for his career. You know, um, he should have gotten his knees and begged out him to stay with him because ever since he went with top rank, he became he became a ghost. You know, uh, Gerald Miller needs to call himself Ger Gerald Ghost Miller because the guy barely comes around anymore. So that <laughs> so that being said, man, yeah, these heavyweights are throwing hundreds of princes per round. They don't really take too much punishment, and if it's a stoppage, it's most likely a quick one hair clear stoppage or very few punches landed uh that hurt the guy right uh, think of the fight with Carlos Takam and um uh my boy Joy Joyce Joy Joyce hit uh Carlos Takam with a few clean shots it was no more than 10 clean shots and then they stopped it you know have us all time in boxing man so you're gonna see how this whole thing plays out with um Robert Hellenius and Adam Kanaki but this is definitely gonna be the biggest fight of the year people are sleeping on this fight this is definitely a co-main event or main event type fight actually tell you the truth you know um so we're gonna see how this whole thing plays out i mean me personally I, they could have had this fight in finland or this could they could have had this fight in poland where adam kanaki is from so you know either way i mean in america it's gonna be um it's gonna be a big fight obviously with uh tyson fury on uh uh, and, and Deontay Wilder on, on the main event. So it's definitely going to have the most eyes on it for sure. So, you know, that being said, this is going to be a one for the ages, man. One for the ages. You know, um, it's wild because it, usually trilogies and, and when they fight for a second time, those aren't big, you know. Um, but the, I mean, the excitement and the sheer sit and wait that boxing has had taking place due to the pandemic last year made everyone anxious just to see a fight and this one it has a lot of history behind it, it has a story to tell behind it right the back and forth the 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 the, the, the tides and, and and the calm you know so we're gonna see how this whole thing plays out man big deal big deal robert helene is looking sharp a lot to prove under that story or will he get stopped by kanaki who knows I'm going to keep following their training, see how everything goes. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobox Empire. Peace.